Welcome to the Whiskey Explorer. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And if this is your first time to the channel, if you could please do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment below, let us know what you thought about the video, and that way we can help grow the community here at the Whiskey Explorer. And if you are returning to the channel, thanks so much for tuning in for another episode. And tonight, guys, we have the 1792 Bottled in Bond. So the 1792 Bottle and Bond is a bourbon from Barton Distillery, and it actually won double gold at the San Francisco Spirit Awards. So that's nothing to scoff at. That's a pretty prestigious uh, spirits competition, uh, pretty thorough judging there, and it took the double gold in 2020. So we're going to see tonight if it holds up to that gold standard. Um, so Bottled and Bond. Bottled and Bond means that this has been aged in a government supervised warehouse for a minimum of four years and it's made by one distillery in one distilling season. It is also bottled at 100 proof or 50% ABV. And the Bottle and Bond Act, you can research that if you want, a uh, little bit of bourbon history, but essentially that was an act that was brought in um, in order to sort of stem the, um, the weird additives that were being put into bourbons at the time. like. It's pretty gross, you know, you could like, you hear stories about how they, they mixed in things to sort of fill out bourbons, like, uh, you know, emptying spittoons into bourbon barrels and stuff like that to get uh, more, more money out of the product, essentially. And so they brought in the Ball and Bond Act to make sure that the bourbon that was being made and produced was of a high enough quality standard. So that's just a little quick snippet of history there on the Ball and Bond Act, and you can look that up more if you like. So this bourbon right here, um, looking at the bottle there, I'll show you guys a little bit more of that in the B-roll, but um, as the first mate said, she liked this bottle right away because it looked like a perfume bottle. So she's a big perfume collector, so she kind of liked that. I kind of like it, it's a little different. Um, I would have liked to have seen, this is a plastic top on here, it would have been cool if that was actually metal, but other than that, it's a pretty good looking bottle. So let's get into it without further ado. Here we go. It's gonna give it a little tippy tip. Oh, cork's in there tight. There we go. Big cork stopper there, as you guys can see. All right, let's get a pour of this guy going. All right. And I did notice in this one, unfortunately, it looks like a little bit of the cork kind of stuck to the kind of inside. You, you might get that sometimes in your bottles. The cork stuck a little bit to the inside of the bottle and kind of flaked off some cork into the actual bottle itself, so I can actually see some of the, the cork sediment kind of floating around in there. Um, bourbon and whiskey is not like wine, where if you have a corked wine, it really will just destroy the wine flavor. Um, it does affect the flavor, but only slightly when it's a bourbon or a whiskey, so nothing too much to worry about there. All right, let's take a look at the color first off the bat. So sort of a light copper color, light kind of amber hue to this one not too dark. Um, I don't know exactly how old this one is. Um, we know that it's at least four years old, but it could be that it's made um, a little bit older than that as well. Let's take a quick swirl around the glass there. There we go, aerate that, get some oxygen into the, to the bourbon there. So this one here, this doesn't really get to us here in BC, like in this part of Canada. Um, this is actually one of those pre-order or it's not a lottery bottle, but it's a pre-order bottle when we have those annual spirit release. We kind of have them twice a year. And I think it runs, it's pretty expensive when it does come here. I think it runs around $70 or $80. Um, and MSRP in the States, I think is about $45 US. So let's try this one. I know this is a one, like people who like 1792, they really like this bald and bond. So let's see uh, how, it, how it fares with my palate here. I'll go in for a quick nosing. Cheers. Hmm. Right on the bat, I get a really kind of malty funk to this one. There is like a funky, kind of almost like a dusty bourbon note to this. There's a real, really, really strong malt character. I don't offhand know the mash bill for the 1792 Bottled and Bond, but I certainly get a strong hit of malt right on the nose right away. I'm gonna get some sweet oak. There's some vanilla in there. Little bit of fruits. It's hard to say what the fruit is. It's not quite um, a like your typical cherry. It's more of like a blackberry 
kind of smell to this one, like a, a blackberry scent. Mostly sweet oak, vanilla, butterscotch, but very, very hint of butterscotch, so it's in the background. A little bit of that um, fruit note in there, so like the blackberry. No spices to report on that one at all. So let's go in for a taste. Cheers, guys. Mm. Okay. This one has opened up very nicely. So this, I have about... This is down to, it's hard to tell on this bottle because of the bottle shape, but I would say this is, you know, past the shoulder for sure. Almost getting into halfway through. At first, I really didn't like this bottle. I was thinking like, you know, all the bourbon fans out there, the 1792 fans, like what are they talking about? I just didn't get it. This has opened up considerably since then, and I like it a lot more. So on the palate, the very first thing I get is sweet oak, which is, I just love that, that bourbon note, that bourbon flavor. It's just delicious. So sweet oak, vanilla. This one has a funky note to it too. So it's like, a, like if you've ever had a dusty bourbon, it has that dusty funk, sort of like the, you know, the kind of the basement or like you go into the library and it's the musty books, you know, not quite tobacco and leather, but a little bit, actually a little bit of tobacco for sure. Not quite into the leather yet. So it probably doesn't quite have the age to get that leathery note to it, but really tasty on the palate, actually. Um, it has some cherry notes in there. So the, the kind of blackberry note that I was getting on the nose, like the fruit uh, characteristic, that more translates to a, a sort of a cherry note in the actual palate. Um, it, the, the only the kind of gripe I have or the complaint, the downside to this one is the finish is not long, so it's fairly short medium short to medium finish and no spices on the back end what you are left with is a little bit of caramel a little bit of vanilla there was actually just experience right there just a little bit of a kentucky hug quite small because it's it's only 100 proof but wow I'm, I'm i'm happy with the way that this one opened up surprised and happy pleasantly surprised let's say that all right let's go in for another quick sip cheers mm. Yeah, that's tasty. Um, this time, I got a little bit more of a nut, a nutty profile note as well, which I don't typically get on uh, 1792 products, but it's definitely there. It almost reminds me of the, the Jim Beam or the Heaven Hill nuttiness. So right away again, sweet oak, vanilla, a little bit of the nutty notes, so think like peanut brittle. Then that moves into a little bit of a cherry note, a um, little bit of a chocolate note in there as well. You get a little bit of tobacco and um, hardly any spice at all. If there is any spice, it's a very light dusting of white pepper and, and that's it. And again, the, the finish on this is short to medium. So that's actually a pretty good bourbon. Would I say it was bourbon of the year for 2020? Um, straight bourbon of the year, I guess it was uh, specifically in the contest. For me, no. But I think if you do find this one and you pick it up, you're not going to be disappointed. So there you go. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in again. And until the next time, may your sails be full and your drowns be fuller. Cheers.